Audubon Boys 4x100 Relay taking home the district championship tonight as they qualify for the uh, state track meet. Let's start off with the guy that ran the opening leg here tonight, Trevor Smith. Trevor, congratulations. Good start for you here tonight. Yep. I mean, we kind of got we got lane three, which is I think worked out kind of well because we could see our competitors, you know, that we knew we had to run down. So coming around the start, I knew I wanted to be pushing, catching up to him right away and then give Kyle a chance to keep the lead, you know. Then we had another corner to turn yet, and we were inside, so that really helped tonight, I think. Out of the blocks well? Yeah, I felt good. You know, both, both all I came out of the blocks all four races. Felt good, you know, home track, maybe that helped a little bit. You know, the blocks and whatnot, so that's nice. How did you feel during the race? Where, where did you feel like you were at your best? Oh, I know, coming out, coming out pretty good. And then I knew, don't let up and let Kyle run away from me, so I had enough. I just had an extra burst, you know, when I get to, when I see him start taking off, I, I know I got to get him the baton. Good handoff here tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think he can get better yet, you know, that's that's nice to know too. If we got times that we can improve on, you know, before we go to state, that'd be nice too. What kind of work will you do on those handoffs heading into state next week? Oh, you know, now we got about a week off, I think, so plenty of time, you know, to have adequate rest, you know, and keep working them. I know throughout the year you get meets coming up and up, you don't want to run, you know, 100% all the time or whatnot. So now you got a little breather, really kind of polish them up, I think. Well, Trevor, congratulations. We'll talk to you about the 4x4 four four coming up here in just a minute. Thank you. Let's move on now to Kyle Rossfold, who all ran right. the second leg here tonight. Kyle, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Trevor just said you guys had a good handoff. How did you feel after you got the handoff? Did you get off to a pretty good start? Yeah, I felt like I took out pretty well. Got off to a nice start. Um, yeah, just try and get that baton and take off. The best, uh, the best 50 for you, the first 50 or the second 50? I think? would say probably the second or the first 50. The first 50? Yeah, I saw that Riverside, Riverside kid on my right, and I knew I really wanted to just come out after him and ooh, just go for it. Yeah. Where did you pass him, and, and, and how much of a lead did you feel like you got on him? Um... I'm not even quite for sure if I did pass him. It was it, it was, was pretty yeah, yeah it was pretty close about the whole way, which really really motivates you to get going and just try and get try and get some really good times up. Was this one of your better runs you think of the year? Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. For sure. Take us through the thought process watching these last two guys run, knowing we've got a shot here going to state. Oh, I handed that that uh, baton off to Eli and I just I was screaming at the top of my lungs, just go, 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 get moving, get it to Jake, and I knew Jake, he, he's he got the quickness to finish it for us, so that's You're good. heading on to state, have you had a time to kind of sit back and reflect on what that's going to mean? Not really, no. Anything yeah. that you think of that you might be looking forward to that you want to see maybe um, when you get down there? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it'll definitely be <clears throat> really competitive environment, I think. It'll be interesting. Well, Kyle, congratulations. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Let's move over now to Elijah Zeiger. And, Elijah, congratulations. Uh, third leg tonight, how did things start off for you? Good handoff? Yeah, that was, I think, what really pushes me to run one of my better times is when Kyle and me have that nice handoff, and I just hear him yelling at me from behind. And right as I was getting the handoff, I saw the Riverside kid even with me. And that, I just, I don't know, I was looking a little blurry. I was just going as hard as I possibly could. No, it was nice because I can ride on that inside, uh, on the inside line around that quarter. So I pulled ahead just a tidbit when I gave off to Jake. So I knew when I handed off to Jake with that little bit of lead, I knew he could finish it for us, and I was pumped up. So a little bit of a lead. How much of a lead did you think you had built there? Oh, uh, well, it was probably about even. I was on that inside lane still, so I probably, I don't know, maybe five meters, not not a whole lot, but it was enough just to kind of give that little edge. <laughs> So. How do you prepare yourself while the first two guys are running and get yourself ready to go? Uh, I I think about it a lot before, but as soon as that uh, as soon as that gun, sh uh, I hear that fire, it's everything just clears my mind, and I just see Kyle coming in so quick, and I just focus on getting out as fast as I possibly can. So, well, Elijah, congratulations, and uh, we'll see you down at State, and thanks, thanks for joining us. Yep. Let's move over now to Jake Mulford, and Jake. Uh, the other three guys said if they could get a lead, they knew you could close things out tonight. Were you as confident of that as were they were? Oh, yeah. I mean, I knew this was a great team. I mean, we ran it last year, you know. It's a fun race, you know. I knew these guys to get the lead or if not be, be close to it or I'd be tied. And I knew I wasn't going to let them down, you know. It's just that drive to gut it out, you know. Just to keep pushing and pushing and pushing until you have that lead and you keep that lead because you don't want to let your team down. Riverside was right there with you when you got the handoff. Uh, how close did you feel him throughout, and did that help you kind of push along? You know, I saw Elijah in that Riverside gig hand off to me and the other one at the same time, and I was 
So I was like, okay, it's up to me now. We gotta, gotta push ourselves through it. And as the event, as the race started going, as I felt like I made a gap. I felt like I was making a gap. So I mean, I knew, but I had to keep pushing myself because if I didn't, you know, he's gonna catch me or someone else is. So you know, it doesn't matter how close you are in this race because you know you just gotta go, go, go. What's it feel like to be able to qualify for state in so many events here tonight? You know, it's it's one thing to do it once, like one time, like one year, and then you come back and do it again the next year. And in many events, it's it's an exciting thing. And I know Elijah, Kyle, this is their first year going. It, it, it's just as exciting for me now as it is for them. I mean, it's just a once in a lifetime opportunity you get. And, you just don't want to waste it. You just got to go. I mean, be happy with what you get, you know. What kind of advice will you give to these two guys before next week? It's just another race, you know. Just a bigger place, you know. It's just the same thing. Do the same thing. Same handoff, same distance. Just a different track and different people with a lot, a lot more. Well, Jake, congratulations. We'll talk to you again here in a moment about qualifying in the 4x4 as well. Thank you.